Antonio, can you tell us uh, more about the HCI project at Carnegie Mellon University? Yeah. Um, so I think CMU, like the reason why I, I aimed at coming to CMU in the first place was because of the HCI program here. Um, I think, you know, if you Google HCI, if you Google HCI, CMU is like one of the top results. Uh, they've been having this program for a very long time. Um, I think it's very different whether you come in as a undergraduate, master's or a PhD, but at least for me, um, I'm in the undergraduate program. Uh, the undergrad program sort of encompasses, it, it tries to promote interdisciplinary education. So if you come in as a, as a CMU student, you can't declare HCI as your primary major. You can only declare it as your secondary major, which means everyone in the HCI program comes from different backgrounds. You know, I'm from information systems, but a lot of people are coming from, you know, design major, computer science major, cognitive psychology major. So everyone's having different um, backgrounds. And then also the courses that uh, HCI program offer, the core courses are like UX methodologies, but then there's a lot of electives in different fields. Um, you can do electives in like conversational UI. You can do electives in machine learning. You can do electives in, you know, pure interface implementation, front end development, um, iOS app development, et cetera. So they really try to give you a lot of options, even if you're in the same HCI program. But eventually, I think the program's goal is to you know, help foster students, you know, regardless of whether they become an engineer or, or, a, or a designer, to, to foster design thinking so that whatever work they do in the future, they're able to use design thinking to, to come up with solutions in their respective fields. Nice. 